Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, Riley Morse and Damien Schneider here for Slinky Gibbon Games. This is I Am The Fourth Wall. If you follow us at all, this is our latest and greatest project. Well, his latest and greatest, I'm just the hired help. <laughs> this is almost to the point where we're announcing Kickstarter. So we are going to go for a quick playthrough of uh, the 1v1 mode. Just to give you an idea of how it how it plays, how it feels, uh, a few of the mechanics. So we're going to quickly run through setup and a gameplay. Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Alright, so, one versus one competitive means, again, we don't need a few of the cards. There is an AI. We don't need any of those cards because we're not playing the AI the mode. Side now. So, yeah, so that's just the presence and the streets deck. We have the wall, so I'm going to take the wall turn trackers. Okay. I'm going to take the wall action card and you get an investigator action card. In fact, you get two more. Yeah. So you need at least three investigators in a game. So in a 1v1, yep. uh, I want to be using three or possibly even more investigators. Uh, again, not AI, so we don't need the target token. Okay. Everything else though, we're going to need tokens we can put to the side for now, unless I pull one of the walls that has tokens. You'll need some of these though. There we are. Yes, Doom Trackers. Yeah, they're probably useful. Okay. All right. Game starts with dealing two investigator cards to each investigator player. He is effectively being three players at the moment. So I will flip over each of these and uh, oh, see who God. we've got. I'm going to go with the waitress because she's great at uh, just kind of moving cards around. Uh, I'm also going to go with the professor and I'm going to keep the private eye out of these two. The rest of the investigators will go back in the deck. They may actually still be used later on in the game uh, if any of my investigators go insane. There are three investigators, so I'm going to pick the three investigator turn tracker, set the other one aside. I am going to take a wall card and put it on the lowest rank at slumber face down. I am then going to do the fancy little pentagram on the back of the cards with the remainder. So, and I will set the rest of them to the side, but within easy reach. I'm going to need them later yeah. when I win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm going to grab the marble deck, and my characters are going to need to have uh, what's known as marbles. And these are just kind of their cards, and if they lose all their marbles, they go insane. So, so it is simultaneously the hand of tools they use to defeat the horrors that I will manifest. It is also their health, effectively. And so because it is a health tracker, uh, some of these actually have different amounts of health. So I have two that will need five, and the professor only actually gets four, because he's a little closer to insanity. insanity. Than you than tried others. teaching students. Yeah, I, I do. Yeah, yeah, look. <laughs> yeah. I am then going to deal myself a hand of five horrors to start with. Boom. Well, let's have a peek. I'm going to have a quick look at these to make sure that that's got... not terrible at all that's not terrible at all now what I need to do is make sure that I keep everything separate between these uh, because I will actually be acting as different people it just means that uh, I'm gonna be jumping uh, from one to the other all right the wall player uh, plays a elder Cthulian God Lovecraftian God or Elder thing, whatever your term for their respective ranks are, etc, etc. I will be taking a turn in between each investigator. So, I will go, Private I will go. I will go, Professor will go, I will go, Waitress will go. This acts the same in games with multiple players. I will go before the player there, before the player there, before the player there. Equally, in an AI game, the AI will go. So, Doom Tokens. Yes. I get one at the start of every turn. Because it is the first turn of the game, I will get two. These allow me to perform various actions as displayed on my card. I get two different types of actions as the wall. A wrath or a brood turn. I can't brood on the first turn, and there would be no point to doing so. So, I'm going to wrath. For two points, I like me some restless spirit. Yep. Okay. I also like me two cultists for zero apiece. <laughs> wow. Enjoy that. Yeah, um, I, I was sort of contemplating playing it safe in this game, but, mm -mm. uh, that's, that's... I really should have paid attention to your blitz. Mm. The main mechanic of the game is very simple. It's symbol matching. You're going to have force, clue, and science, each denoted by the symbols 
on the horrors and also on the marbles. So we can show a couple of them there. There we are. Match the symbols, the horror is defeated, and various effects will happen. They have a death rattle, which is this section in red. Now, your blitz. I have Blitz over here with the Private Eye. Now this is actually really good for what Riley has put out on the table because I can draw seven cards from here and any of them that have a clue symbol on them, it doesn't have to be just a clue symbol, uh, I can actually play directly onto the board to try and defeat these. The only downside to a Blitz, however, is that it does give you an, uh, an extra Doom token that you'll be able to use on your next turn. Yeah, it's one of the many exploit the rift actions, which is this area in purple. Whenever he exploits the rift, which I imagine you're doing, I get an extra Doom. So I'm going to take that. I am... Yeah, it's... I'm going to be playing yep. uh, pretty hardball from the start, so let's, yep. let's, let's Good. go with this. Excellent. Uh, first thing, though, however, I'm just going to check to see if I've got any other relevant cards that I could use from other... He's episodes. looking for a card called Adrenaline. Let's just get this out there. Okay. Okay, so none of that. None? So, the Blitz has a listed value of seven. He will flip the top seven cards over. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, all of these get revealed. And anything that has a clue symbol on it, I get to use. Anything that has no clue symbol on it just goes away. And uh, unfortunately, I can't use that. Uh, but that's a pretty good haul. I'm quite happy with this. Uh, I didn't get any sort of clue science combos, mm -hmm. which is a little bit disappointing. Restless spirit lives! Yes. Uh, so, but I will... Uh, and now I need to assign these down... Uh, so I'm going to do that, do that, let me just check, double check what I've got in my hand, yes. Uh, Each investigator gets two oh action gosh. points, effectively. The action points are listed on the investigator actions card, and of course in the rule book. Exploiting the rift is one action. Yeah, most things, most things are going to be one action, there are some things that will cost two, and some things that will also cost zero as All well. Right. So. We're going to start here, because this is your place first. Now, mm -hmm. uh, blitzing counts as, there's, there's a couple of different actions. There's intervening, utilizing, and rushing. Yes. Rush cards are basically immediate interrupts. Utilizing is to use the card's effect, ignoring the other symbols. Intervening, you use the symbols when play, played down like this, and use the effect. None of those here, though. So, you've got no... Uh, I will oh, no, have an intervene mind. one Sorry. there, so... We'll go here first then. Yeah. So, uh, as my Deer Stalker is placed down as an intervene, I also get to reveal uh, three marbles and put all with clue symbols into my hand. So I'll reveal all of those, and uh, these two get put into my hand. Now, I have gone over my sanity limit, so, but we'll get to that at the end of this action. Yep. Now, this cultist, his symbols have been matched, he dies. I follow the death rattle effect, which is the wall made delve, effectively drawing another card. Now that that creature is defeated, we come across to here. This has been defeated. It's a utilized effect, so we ignore it. Again, the wall may delve, because it's another cultist. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. This card stays out. The symbols have not been completely matched, so it's not destroyed, but it remains attached to that horror. Okay. You have one more action with your private eye. So just in the final rounds of that action, I actually need to get rid of a couple of cards... Uh, and because uh, I can't hold more than five at a time and I actually have to finish that, have that sorted out before I continue my turn. So I'm going to get rid of a lighter just because it's not a terribly useful card. Uh, but other than that I've got pretty good things so I'm actually going to have to get rid of a telescope. Oh god, okay. Now, uh, I actually have a unique action as well, so I have one action point left. My unique action costs one to use, and that is intervene with a clue marble, and then I get to search for free. So I'm going to uh, intervene with an ancient text. So this okay. has an intervene effect, where it negates all science on a horror, as well as doing the one clue. So he's up to two clues, he's negated all the science, and the creature is irritatingly defeated. And uh, just continuing on with the action, I also get a free search in there, and searching is just drawing a card. I get to delve as part of the death rattle effect. Okay. 
and these get discarded because the horror has been defeated. Now, his turn is finished. I get a Doom token, meaning because of his Blitz and new turn, I have two Doom again. So... Hmm... Let's... Let's be irritating to you. Okay. I'm going to play a doll. Okay. Then I'm going to swap the Professor's hand and the Private Eye's hand for zero. Because <laughs> I know he at least doesn't have an Elder Sign. The goal of the game, and now that we're bringing up Elder Signs, is really quite simple. I am trying to either open up five of these gates after, in this game, three turns. Full turns. Or... I'm trying to last eight full turns. He, after three turns, is trying to, or at any point actually, is trying to close all these gates. It's really that simple. An Elder Sign basically has the ability to immediately close a gate. So the fact that the Private Eye didn't have one was wonderful. Swapping that to Professor, who I'm sure had one, judging by Damien's reaction. Okay. Uh, so, so into the Professor's turn. Now I've got two actions to spend as per normal. Uh, now, his Blitz ability isn't very good at taking out the doll, because there's a lot of force in there. And his unique ability isn't actually that useful at the moment, but that doesn't matter, because I'm going to step up and close a gate. So, to close a gate, I need to be uh, spending at least one of each symbol. Anything extra from that is just lost anyway, so I've at least got one clue, one force, and one science, so that's enough to close a gate. Closing a gate requires two action points, so that's his full turn, and it's already back to me. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to take my other action, flip this card over, and I'm going to take a Brood. Okay. Which is, at the end of a rough, if I don't spend any of my Doom, I lose it. A Brood turn changes that. I get to keep my Brood, I can't take any actions, I can't play any cards. I do, however, get to place the Scourge. While the Scourge is alive, I place it on one of my cards, Wall gates cannot be closed. So that stops the waitress, if she has the cards, from closing it until that is defeated. And being on a five symbol creature, that's strong. Yes, that's gonna slow me down a little bit, I think. What do we need to kill that? A lot, by the looks of things. Okay. Molotov would be a good start. Mm. And Please don't. I Please think don't. that's, that's Damien. exactly what I'm gonna Damien. be doing. So I'm gonna chuck a Molotov at it, which has actually negated all of the force and all of the science. It's just that clue that I need to be able to deal with now. However, the wall targets an investigator to lose a marble, so I get to pick. And there is a distinction in our game for targeted and elected. Yes. Targeted I will pick. Elected, the investigators amongst themselves will pick. But in this case, the wall targets an investigator to lose a marble. And let's go the waitress, because the I waitress. hate her and you love her. Okay, the waitress is going to uh, lose a marble, so I still get to choose what that's going to be. I'm going to lose... No, I'm not. <laughs> Damn, yeah. so close. Okay, I'm going to use lose a metal detector because that notepad is going to be really handy. Yep, for your second action, mm. where I imagine you kill this. Uh, actually, give me a, a moment, because I could have done... No, I'm... I'm... Actually, I can do that a little bit better. I'm going to use her free ability to trade, and actually trade one card for another card. And then I'm going to use my last action to intervene with a Deer Stalker. Oh, for God's sake. Yep, okay. So the Deer Stalker also has an intervene rule. Uh, so we've, I, we've seen it before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so I'm just going to... Draw the three cards. Pull up three marbles. Reveal three. And he missed! Yep. No clue symbols, he doesn't get any of them. Oh, okay. Good. So at the moment, Damien, the... my friend. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so at the moment, the waitress is looking a little bit low. She's only got two marbles left, uh, which is not how I wanted things to go, but. Let's... However, the doll is now destroyed. The scourge returns. The death rattle. Target investigator must give a marble to another investigator. The waitress can give. Okay. Let's give that card. Sure. Okay. Now, all investigators have had a turn. The turn tracker 
ticks up one. And I get a doom for the start of my turn, and we go again. Okay. So, and they're discarded. Crumbling Flesh for one activates its ability for one. Waitress has to lose a random marble. Right. A random okay. of one is one. But you know. Yes, so at, at the moment, if she loses that marble, she's going to go insane. So I do have cards available to me that uh, can prevent investigators from losing marbles. And losing an investigator this early on, especially the waitress, is a little bit rough. So... Uh, the professor is instead going to step in and uh, bust out a holy symbol. Which is that rush rule, so it's an interrupt. Yeah, and this just prevents an investigator from losing a single marble. Yep. So, uh, I'm still losing a marble somewhere on the table, but... Down uh, to two and on the professor. The professor is down to mm. two, uh, but it has stopped my uh, the waitress from going insane. Uh, so if the waitress actually goes insane, this is the opportunity that the wall has to actually open a gate. This is my main way of doing it. Send them insane, open gates back up. Yeah, so don't quite want that to happen just yet. But nope. Yeah. Uh, look, well, that's my turn then. So okay. it's back to you. Private so, Eye. So, Private Eye. With the crumbling flesh right there. Okay, uh, now, both of these guys are looking real rough. So, uh, the card that I swapped over before... First aid kit. Uh, ...is going to be a first aid Damn kit. Damn it! And this allows me, so this is one of those utilized cards. So I don't get to use the symbols that are on it, yep. but uh, it does allow me to draw three marbles and give them to any investigators of your choice. So I'm going to get three marbles. So all that hard work that I did, just gone. And I'm going to give that one. I'm going to do that and that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's one of your actions. Mm-hmm. So I still have one action left. So, I will... Please don't Egyptian blade me. <laughs> Please, Damien. Uh, I'm going to drive up in my Studebaker oh, and right. just kind of park it on the side of the road, give us a bit of cover and things like that. So this is a Utilize, and this is actually a different card again, where I can anchor to the streets. So instead of this being attached to a horror, it will anchor itself to the streets and it will negate one force symbol from all horrors on the streets. So it stays there until I take an action to remove it. It's what anchoring means. Yes, yes. Uh, now, it's not going to do anything to the crumbling flesh at this particular moment, but for other things that he might put out in the future, mm -hmm. uh, it may make it a little easier for me to take care of things. Yep. Okay. All right, back to my turn. I'm going to get one Doom token. I'm just going to Scourge again. Uh, I have a drained card, a, a card, a horror that I've used the ability of. When I take a brood action, that resets, I place the Scourge, and I keep my Doom. Enjoy. I'm actually going to use the Professor's Blitz ability. You're uh, exploiting the Rift, so I yes. get an extra Doom? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So, I get to draw five cards. Two, three, four, five. Now, he can have anything that has clues or science on it, so I can... All force, go. No. Oh, I'm in a lot of trouble. So, I lose that one. Uh, this is possibly not as good as it could have been. Uh, the Molotov Cocktail is one of the wild cards in here because I have to play it, and it's going to deal out some hurt to one of me here. But other than that, I will be able to... Uh, so that'll take out uh, most of it, and then the Metal Detector will also allow me to search... And then these two will just go on for good measure. Uh, so I will... Take your search. Uh, search. We'll go in there. Then she can lose the marble from the Molotov. Okay. Then that is all the intervene effects we have. The mm -hmm. creature is defeated, so we'll discard those. Okay. Now, an elected investigator must lose a marble. So you okay. get to pick. So... Uh... I think the Private Eye is definitely going to be uh, dropping one of their Switchblades. Okie doke. Okay, uh, now, that's one action. I still have... One more. ...another one to go. I think I'm actually going to give a card. So I'm going to give a card to the Private Eye. <laughs> it's a good card for the Private Eye. I'm sure it is. 
I will give a card to the waitress. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Never say I don't play fair. Yeah. Okay, that's... Start of my turn. I'm up to three doom. Oh, yep. Yep. Okay. Unfortunately, not a lot I can do with it. Uh, let's lights in the mist. Okay. And for zero, allows me to delve. Okay. Let's, uh... Lights in the mist. For zero, allows me to delve. Oh, no. And let's play a gatekeeper, which comes into the field drained. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's that's a pretty decent <laughs> turn. Uh, let's... Now, I'm pretty sure he's going to brood next turn. So, <laughs> that means that I may play things a little more on edge than I normally would, being a conservative me. I'm going to go up and close a gate. <laughs> so this is the Elder Sign that we mentioned before. It has one of each symbol. I can also utilize this to just straight out take out one of the, um, horrors. Uh, one of the horrors there, but closing a gate uh, right before he's about to brood and get the scourge out is a good thing. The only thing is I'm down to one marvel there. Yeah, it's really frustrating. If I if I had one more action point this turn, they've all had their turn. I'll tick up my tracker. I'll get a doom. Okay, now this is the last turn that I have before Riley will reveal his wall card. Yeah. When I tick up one more time and I will open and I get special abilities when the nature of my um Lovecraftian God is revealed. Yeah. And that's when things get really rough. So... I wish I had one more action point, but I don't. So yes, I am going to brood this turn mm -hmm. and undrain all of these. Right. Go for it. Okay. Uh, so, back to the private eye. The advantage I have is he's getting fairly low health across the board now. He's running yeah, out of cards. I, He's going to have to either majorly heal or take a regroup action fairly soon. I'm going to utilize a camera. So take a marble from the discard pile and put it into your hand. I'm going to grab this Elder Sign back. Now, uh, I'm going to utilize the Elder Sign on the Gatekeeper. And what this does, it will uh, discard a horror on the streets and ignore its death rattle. The reason he's targeting the gatekeeper is it's literally, once it's on drain, spend one, open a gate. But they're weak. So. Okay. And that's both my actions taken up, so my private eye is sitting on two marbles. Beautiful. I will get my two here. And let's go... Not gonna delve... No? Okay, yeah. Cool. Into... Let's have the waitress lose a marble. Do you have a holy symbol, my sir? And... This is where the waitress is going to lose her last marble, and she will go insane. This player, so if, if this was three different players, uh, is not eliminated from the game. Uh, they are just kind of taken out for that particular turn. They don't even lose a turn. When it gets to them again, they will draw a new investigator card, a new allotment of marbles, and have their turn. What it does give me, however, is another gate. Yeah. Meaning I'm not <sighs> so close to elimination already. All right. Uh, I will also take this chance to delve and delve again. And my Scourge is still out, which is fantastic. Yeah, yeah this, is, this oh, has been baby. a rough round. All right, okay. rock and roll. Now, because the Studebaker is out here, uh, the Ghoul normally has two Force to take it out, but it can actually be taken out with one. So, uh, but fortunately that is not going to be happening today. The ghoul is kind of dangerous because it does actually do damage to me, but the real thing that I want to be taking out is the lights in the mist just because it is currently the scourge and I really can't have that sitting around. I'm going to intervene, typewriter, mm -hmm. and that has two science symbols on it, so it's going to be enough to take out Defeated, the lights in the mist. but I delve. <laughs> And I'm getting really low on marbles here, so uh, I'm going to search. And now my unique ability here, my unique action, only costs zero. So mm -hmm. I can only use it once per turn, but um, 
even after I've used both my actions. I can discard any number of marbles, then search that many times. I don't really like having just a, a single notepad there, so I'm just going to discard that and draw again. That's got some, something a little nicer for me. So, and that ends the professor's turn. Alright. I'm a scourge again. Yep. I'm a brood. Oh, on the ghoul. Yes, on the ghoul this time. Okay, that's that's interesting. Yep. Yep, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for that. Now, my investigator... Uh, what, at the start of the at the start of the game, I actually get dealt two and pick one. Here, I actually just take one card and put it out on the table, and that's what I get. The security, I get the security guard. guard, which is actually really good. That's irritating. Uh, so that's irritating. I'll put those investigators away. So the the waitress can potentially come back, but uh, yeah, only once someone else goes insane. So I'm going to draw four marbles. One, two, three, four. All clues. <laughs> okay. Well, so I have a zero intervene action to take out a marble, uh, to intervene with a force marble, which is what I need to defeat the ghoul, and I think I'm definitely going to be doing that. So uh, before actually using any of my actions, I'm going to intervene with a bear trap and clamp the ghoul. An elected investigator must lose a marble. Okay. Goes away. Who's got garbage? Ooh. This is not good. Okay. Uh, the private eye is going to go down to one marble. Mm-hmm. But I am then going to use an elder sign to close a gate. Damn. Okay, so we're back down to one gate, uh, but this is the last investigator of the round, so... I tick up, and I flip open the card that was dealt randomly. So this is <sighs> what's Cthulhu. known as the eye opens in the game. Uh, Alright, for zero, I can make an elected investigator, so he gets to choose, just lose a marble. So every turn he is losing a marble. And I have a passive ability, which is once per action, when an investigator loses one or more marbles, I can delve. So I'm always going to have cards in my hand and he is always going to be under a real health pressure. So, I'm okay. also going to get my doom for the turn. With this in mind, I'm going to take my zero action. You're going to lose a marble. Okay. Somewhere you please. Get rid of a telescope. Okay. Because he's lost a marble and this is just one action, I will draw a card. Then... I'll be a dick. <laughs> Play a maniac. Oh! An elected investigator must lose two marbles. He's got two or less marbles on everybody. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh... I'll have my gate back, thank you. Okay, now, because... Whoever I pick, someone is going to go insane. I'm actually going to go for the private eye, just because he's only got one there, and... Uh, at the moment, there's nothing with clues out on the table, so... Again, it's a new action, though. He's lost a marble. I get to delve. Mm -hmm. So the private eye will go insane, and a gate will open. Oh. <laughs> now, he does get five new cards at the start of the turn, though, so very likely that gate's about to die, yes. but we're going to have to see. Uh, it could be four as well. I'll depending. delve while I'm here. Okay. Go for it. Okay. There is no hand limit. To the wall's hand. Okay, so I'm going to get myself a new investigator. And I get the scientist. This scientist! Okay, so that's actually not too bad for here. That's, so, yeah, that's, that's not too awful, no. Uh, I do only get four marbles though. So one, two, three, four. Please don't shut a gate. I've been really up against the wall for a while now. Ah, the wall. Ha, ha, ha. Damn it. <laughs> that was not intentional, I promise. <laughs> okay. It's at this point where everything is going to get really rough, so I need to keep the pressure on. I'm going to close a gate. It does put me back down to two marbles, so everyone currently has two marbles. Um, and oh, they get discarded. Right. <clears throat> hmm. 
Mm. Well, I'm going to take that beautiful brood action. Yeah. Yeah. Put the scourge out. Stop you. Let's go. Okay, so the professor's up next. I can potentially get rid of the lights in the mist, mm -hmm. but that will take me down to one marble. I'm not sure. It isn't elected. Both of them yeah. are elected. Yeah, uh, but I think at this point, because there's going to be so many marbles being lost, I am going to use an action that I haven't done yet. I'm going to turn my car on the side, and he's going to regroup. Yep. So what that allows me to do is to either draw two marbles or draw up to my hand size. In this case, it's going to be exactly the same, so I'm going to draw two marbles. And if anyone else regroups, I can actually freely trade with them. So uh, that's looking pretty good, although I'm going to use my zero cost action as well. So discarding a number of marbles, I'm going to get rid of that notepad. I'm going to draw another marble. Excellent. Okay. So that's the professor done. All right. I'm going to get a doom. I'm going to take an action I haven't done yet. I'm going to take an action to destroy a marble on the street. So I'm going to destroy the Studebaker. Yeah. I am then going to use my zero ability mm -hmm. to make you lose a marble somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, is, mm -hmm. this is really rough because uh, he's got a maniac there so he can just take out two marbles uh, I'm going to oh, another Studebaker get rid of that it takes the scientist down to one sure I'll draw a, a horror because you discarded a card I lost a mob yes it's funny it's funny but I don't think it's effective I will delve Using the lights in the mist. Okay. I will then spend that to make you lose two cards. Elected. Okay. And this is... It has to be the same investigator. And elected. And this is where the professor's regroup comes in handy. Yes. So I'm going to... Drop an adrenaline and a Molotov cocktail. Yeah. Ow. So, again, not looking great in terms of health, but... You know... Okay. Security guard. Security guard. Great. Let's do it. Uh, actually, that's not great in terms of what he's got. So he's actually going to regroup as well. This so, is good. I'm slowing him down so much now. So I'm going to draw two cards. Uh, but I do get to freely trade with other people who have regrouped. So the professor. Uh, so I'm going to have a look at these and really not helping me out. The Maniac only has one uh, force that I need to take it out with, but it's... Oh, and, and I can actually do that for free. Uh, and I think... I think I have to do that. So I'm going to um, yep. intervene with the Sniper Rifle. Maniac has no Death Rattle because his ability is so good. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the security guard's turn. So that's another round, so we're going to tick up. I'm going to tick up. Oh, you don't have long left. No. no. All right. I'm going to get a doom. Yes. Let's start with making you lose an elected marble. Okay, I'm going to lose a lighter. I will delve. I'm going to summon a crumbling flesh. Okay. Go for it. Now, uh, because the scientist is up next, and he's only got one, again, everyone else is regrouped, so this is a good chance for him to regroup as well, because I draw up to my limit. So I'm going to draw three marbles, put them all into my hand, and I still have my intervene with a science card for free, mm -hmm. and the scourge is currently... A science horror. Now, I I can freely give and trade with any of these guys here, so I might actually I might give a card to the professor, and I might trade a card with the security guard. That's not going to do it. That's not going to do it. Ah. Uh, so I'll give a card to the professor and I'll trade a card with the professor as well. So now with my zero action, I can use 
uh, intervene with a, a marble card. I'm actually going science to science marble. Uh, yeah, with a science marble. Uh, I'm going to intervene with a first aid kit to take out the scourge. Oh, he's not utilizing it though. No, Damn. no. Because so, I just want that out of the way. Yep. So I get to delve. My turn, correct? Yes. Uh, yes, because I okay. regrouped and then I used my... Doom Brood, go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was so close. Okay, at the start of my turn, uh, uh, I'm no longer... Uh, mm -hmm. Regrouped? Regrouped, It's the time you're the looking word. for. Yep. Okay. Uh, now, I'm going to go ahead and... Do you want me to shuffle that for you? No, While you no, contemplate? no, no. Oh, so you have a camera. So the thing is, as soon as I go to draw from a deck that isn't there, the deck actually just gets shuffled back in uh, and used, but there are cards that can work from the discard piles. So I'm going to utilize a camera to go and Did find... I call it or did I call it? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go and grab an Elder Sign. You're a real turd, you know that. Okay, so... Uh, I'm not done yet. That was uh, only one action. Oh, no, no. I, I assume you're getting rid of it with the Elder Sign. Uh, I'm going to discard any number of marbles and then draw that many. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to discard a lighter. So I'm going to shuffle all the rest of these a little bit. Now, just for... All you kids at home that are saying, that is a huge deck of cards. Uh, this is actually just because we've got them sleeved with uh, printed fronts and backs. So it's, it's a prototype. It's thicker than it's meant to be. Yeah, so this is actually 54 cards with all the marbles, so it's the same size as the standard deck. So I'm going to draw one card. Okay. And I will then, as Riley suggested, I will utilise that Elder Sign to take care and I don't get the death rattle effect, which is really unfortunate. Yeah. Okay, so you can't brew twice in a row. Mm-hmm. So So I'm hoping I've either got to make him go insane somewhere, get another uh, gate, or hope he doesn't have the tools to open a gate, but he's done a lot of trading. Close a gate in there. Close gate. So he's done a lot of trading, so he's quite possibly got the tools. So We've got two, two, and two. Okay, then let's try a maniac swing. Elected investigator loses oh. two marbles. <laughs> okay. Hey, okay. Damien, there's okay. the third. <laughs> <laughs> Maniacs are easily some of my favourite cards in the Okay. Uh... So, I have to be really careful with how I do this. Um, the Professor is going to lose two marbles. Okay. He will lose a Studebaker, but then the Scientist is going to bust out with a Holy Symbol. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so... Okay, I'll draw a card. Yes. Then my unique action. An elected investigator must lose a marble. <laughs> I forgot about that one. I genuinely forgot about that one. Oh. Yes! So, very obviously here he does have the tools to close a gate. So now he either sends someone insane and then closes the gate and it's all pointless anyway, or he loses one of the cards he needs to close the gate and keeps people alive. Cthulhu's all about pressure. He's all about that constant, and I'm just hitting oh. all the cards I need to really make this a hard game for him. Okay, I'm... I'm going to get rid of that because I think I'm keeping track of what you've used. Okay. Right, okay, sure. I'm going to go down to one marble across the board. Right, love it. Um, so... Security guard's turn? Mm-hmm. I have one marble left. <laughs> uh, if it's an Elder Sign, I'm really going to be salty. Now, I could potentially use my Blitz to try and take the Maniac out, 
The only thing is, the Maniac only has as much power as there are gates currently open, so he's only got... he only needs one Force Symbol. Uh, and if I happen across a Molotov Cocktail... Someone dies. Yes. So, I'm... I need the marbles. I'm going to regroup again. Good. Good. But, I still have a zero action ability, and I'm going to use a Switchblade. Yep. To get rid of him. Huh. <sighs> okay. And that's his turn. Uh, now, we... I tick up. One turn off the next phase of the game, which is the crescendo, which we'll explain when we get there. Yes. So, I get a Doom. I'm going to spend that Doom on a High Priest. Go. Okay. Uh, I currently don't have a whole lot. So, I, I literally can't close a gate with one marble. Mm -hmm. uh, or else I just drive myself insane. So, I'm... Regrouping is what you're doing. Yeah, I, I need to regroup. I wish I had one more resource that turn. You have no idea. You have no idea. Uh, so for zero, I will intervene with a science marble, and I will put a tracking device on the high priest, which is going to negate the science and both of the clues. Uh, the clues. So uh, I'm just holding on with a force. Yes. Now, I'm going to be real dick. So... I'm going to use my Doom to use it to manifest a horror ability. Putting out a Summoner. Summoner has a zero cost ability. What if you can search? The security guard will search. Okay. And I get to manifest the top horror of the deck. A cultist. Shit. Awesome. Yeah, no. Happy about that. Um, so that's on him. Okay. And you may go. Oh, uh, actually no. You know what? Let's get another cultist out there. Mmm, okay. Go for it, friend. Mmm. This, this has changed things. Uh, I'm going to regroup. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to. I'm just so low on health at the moment. Oh, curses. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Uh, I will. And then I can freely trade with anyone, which is mm -hmm. great. Uh, give or trade. Uh, so I'm going to... I'm actually going to take that card. I can go over there. They're all regrouped, so I can actually just kind of shuffle these around how I will. And I think that's what I want to do. Yes. Sure. I'll go with that. My turn? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, your turn. I can't use my unique action when I brood, which is what I'm doing. Okay, so we're uh, up to the security guard. I think I know what I'm doing, so I'm going to use my intervene with a force marble for free over here. Finish that off. Mm -hmm. Sure thing. I get to delve. So I still have two more actions. I'm going to utilize an elder sign on the summoner. Right. Defeated, ignoring his death throttle. Sure. Okay, and I still have one action left. Those cultists are a little bit of a pain. We haven't seen it so far this game, but if you have three cultists out, for one action you can just sacrifice them all and open a gate. So, I'm a little bit hesitant as to whether I need to nuke one of them. And at this stage, I think I do. I'm going to... Ooh, taking them down to one card. Put a tracking device mm -hmm. and take care of that cultist. Sure thing. I draw a card. And now this is the end of the round. End of the round. Now, we step into the crescendo. So, if I had drained horrors, they would all undrain. Additionally, every turn I am now getting two doom, and each investigator is getting three actions. Stepping up, Cthulhu is physically awake within his realm and is trying to bash through. Let's start with <laughs> making you lose a marble. Okay. An elected investigator. Elected investigator. And I'll draw my horror. So, I'm going to lose an adrenaline. So that's got two, one, and I've still got four on the scientist. I have a really big gambly choice to make, and I don't like it in the slightest. <laughs> I'm going... Oh, crescendo. I can now no longer brood. No more scourge for me. No more keeping them the gates safe. So I'm going to summon a cult leader. 
Yes. Use the cult leader's ability to summon out a cultist. Use the cultist's ability to cull oh. these three to summon a gate. Oh. Mmm. Go for it, friendo. Let me guess. You had enough to close a gate in there? And... Uh, <clears throat> So I'm no longer regrouped, but I'm going to step up and I'm going to close a gate. There it is. Oh. That's two action points. You have one left. Uh, yes, and I've still got my free as well. Not uh, that your free is of any use. That's true. Uh, I'm going to utilize a first aid kit. That really fucks what I had planned. Okay, so I get three cards and... Let's go that, that, and that. Okay. Sure. Um, I'm going to get to Doom again. Unique ability. Lose an elected marble. Uh, the scientist is going to lose a metal detector. Uh, I draw a card for that. Alright, that doesn't help me. I have to hope this works. Ghoul, ghoul ability on the scientist. To target you and lose a marble. Do you have a holy symbol? Yes! Insane. Oh, that. Oh, thank you! <laughs> holy hell! Okay. Uh, so, we're up to the professor? Up to the professor. Professor Hans? Oh. Oh, this is so tense. Professor is gonna go up and he's gonna close the gate. <laughs> Sure. Alright. You good? Mmm. No. Really? <laughs> okay. Alright. <laughs> um, an elected investigator- uh, get to doom. An elected investigator must lose a marble. <laughs> you have no idea how excited I am for this. <laughs> so, this is- we've been- how long have we been developing the game? Close on two years? Uh, yeah, on yeah. A, yeah, on and off in various stages. Mm. Um, I've never done this. Hand of Tindalos, Hand of Tindalos ability. Oh, yes! No! <laughs> so, Hand of Tindalos. Um, every investigator that has the same amount of marbles in their hand as the gates I have open loses a marble. They're both sitting at one eye of one gate. I just drove two of them insane. Oh. Oh, God. I'm so satisfied. Oh. You have no idea. <laughs> I've never achieved this! Yes! Oh, God. Okay, so... Good. Everyone is insane. <laughs> everyone is currently insane. So it's currently his turn. Okay. <laughs> I think that's secure the victory for me. I, I think that's it. Okay. Uh, oh, that's... Oh, no, they could all get, like, closed gate nonsense. So, get rid of this investigator card now, and I've got a new one. Yep. And I have the psychiatrist. Ooh, so I do have a terrible. hand of five. One, two, three, four, five. And at this stage, I'm just looking at closing gates, just ignoring what's out on the table at the moment. Oh. You are right. I'm going to do it. Close the gate? Close sure. the gate. All right. Okay, uh, now I still have one action left. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I could potentially search twice, which just means that... Um, well, actually, I was going to give a card to someone else, but that's not going to work. So... I'm going to search twice. Mm -hmm. That's my unique ability and psychiatrist. Okay, good. All right, I'm going to get two of these. Uh, lose an elected a uh, card from an elected investigator, which can only be him. Mm -hmm. There goes a switchblade. Didn't need that anyway. Okay, and I will maniac and maniac trigger, and unless the elected investigator must lose two marbles. Oh, and I'll so glad I had that <laughs> double search. Yes, yes, if you hadn't have done that, I'm really upset. Oh, and the psychiatrist had his turn, I ticked up. My bad. There we yeah. go. Yeah, so this is now the last round as well. So, I have to close these two gates, or else Riley's going to win. Yep. Ah, uh, okay. I can just now, yeah. So, investigator over here, let's see who we get. The Grease, Grease Monkey! monkey. Oh, Not okay. useful this late in the game. No, but does get five marbles. Does get so. five marbles for closing gates. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. 
Okay, and that's exactly what she's gonna do. So, Molotov and a notepad to close a gate. Uh, so, and I still have one action remaining. Mm hmm. What have we got? This is. This is. This is desperate. Oh. This is really desperate. Uh. I'm going to exploit the rift. Okay, so I am going to. What is your exploit the rift? Uh, my exploit the rift is utilize any two cards from any investigators. Sure. So I can actually pick any mm -hmm. ones around here. So I want to go to the psychiatrist. Yep. I am going to utilize mm -hmm. an elder sign to get rid of the ghoul who mm -hmm. has the most control. So that's going to go away. And then I'm going to utilize a camera to take a marble from the discard pile and put it into their hand. So I'm going to get that back. Sure. Okay. And... That is me. All right, done. I'm gonna get these two. Mm-hmm. Mm. I think the best way to do this is going to be pay one for an elder thing and pay two, so all investigators have to lose a marble. <laughs> oh! And I, 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 I delve when this occurs. You have holy symbols, Damien. Oh, good. Psychiatrist is insane. Oh. And uh, my unique action, Chris Monkey can lose another marble. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's get rid of the deer stalker. Okay. Got a nice hand there. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so. Now, I have two investigators left, and, and there gates. are two gates left. I need to be closing a gate with each of these. And I can't open a gate in my next action. Yes. And the Grease Monkey's only on one. Okay, let's see how we go. Good luck. And the next investigator is... The Faith Healer! Oh, <laughs> shit! That's okay. not what I wanted to see right now! Okay, so... I do only get four marbles. One, oh, two, please, three, it's four. the Faith Healer. We both know that's a lie. It, it, it's as it sounds. He just heals people back up. He gets the marbles, marbles, marbles. Did you get garbage? Did you get all clues? I hope you got all clues. I hope that's it. You're going to have to exploit the rift, aren't you? Okay, I'm going to use my uh, unique action for zero, which is search and give a card to another investigator. I'm going to search. And I'm going to give a card. Okay, uh, so I still have three actions left. Mm -hmm. I'm going to exploit the rift. I could potentially just search and hope that I get something, but... Um, Your exploit the rift is so much better because... Uh, because I'm going to be drawing four marbles and I get to give them to anyone that I want. So basically, he's going to give them all to himself and discard any cards that are just useless. He's hoping for a way to close a gate. Okay, and so... I need to give that one there, and then Grease Monkey can hold up to five, which is great, so she's going to have all of those. Doesn't really matter what she has at the moment, she just needs to stay alive. Uh-huh, yep, now, absolutely. Now, I have over my hand limit here, so I need to get rid of something. Uh, and at this point, I need to get rid of Ancient Text. text. I have two, action, uh, two actions left, which are going to be used to close a gate. My turn? Yes. I get two action points. Mm hmm. Two doom. Cultist. Oh, no. Cult leader. No! Cult leader ability. <laughs> oh! For a cultist. One to sack. Oh! Gate. And oh. that's victory! <laughs> I drew the cultist off that last delve. Oh, oh thank you, no. God. And you know what? For good measure, you can lose a card too, and I'm gonna delve. <laughs> So I'll lose a card. Uh, so oh. I do get a new investigator, but I can't close two gates in one round. So that is game. Oh. Oh. Thank you. That Tindalos was amazing.
Okay, heart pressure? A <laughs> oh, dude, a little way bit. too high. Oh, oh this, God. This can be a stressful game. <laughs> That's possibly one of the most stressful we've ever had. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so, guys. Uh, look, we hope you like that. We hope it cleared up what you're going to be doing. Uh, or, or at least it's giving you a bit of a feel for what goes on in a game. Uh, so, I mean, just to wrap it up, I want to be closing gates. Riley wants to be opening them. Don't be afraid to use your Exploit the Rift. It's really powerful and you need it. Walls and all the play tests, I will say this, use your brood action at almost every second action if you can. The Scourge is your best friend. Yeah, this, this is a, a game for really uh, not playing safe. No, uh, no. So, I mean, you I need had, to push the envelope with this. I had a couple of turns where I needed to uh, regroup and things like that, but that was because I had no cards left. Yeah. Other than that, it was whatever sort of pressure I could apply, I did. Uh, and it was a little bit off at the end. Yep. Um, yep. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. I've been Riley Morse. I'm Damien Schneider. And we will catch you next time. Cheers. See you around.